I was driving north, uh, finished in the South Island, heading back up and I see that there's going to be an aurora. So where have I got to go? Let's see if I can find somewhere. Well, my little plan of uh, climbing a hill over there uh, didn't work out. Seems that uh, ever since Lord of the Rings was filmed around here, that um, they guard their landscape with uh, a mighty dollar. So uh, I wasn't allowed to go up and camp at night. So I've got a spot down beside the lake. And uh, if I don't get an aurora, there should be a Milky Way somewhere over there. So either way, it's going to be a good shot. But I um, had a couple of photos and the um, sun's just going down and it's all changing. Look at that colour. So um, I'll take another one now and uh, I'll wait and see if the aurora is supposed to be here around about six, seven o'clock. So it's not even going to be dark properly. So it's probably not going to happen so much tonight. But we'll see what happens. So I just uh, move it around about a third. Every shot. And press go and give it 30 seconds to do its thing. And what I'm hoping is that I've got a nice big panorama all the way around there. So now what we do is we wait. Wait and see if what happens to the light and uh, see what happens with the Milky Way, see what happens with the Aurora. But uh, don't worry, Mum and Auntie, I've got my sleeping bag in there, sleeping mat, it's all good. It's going to get down to about minus four or five tonight, but hey, <laughs> we'll see how we go, eh? Can always go back to the car. What an amazing evening. There's not a cloud in the sky. And it's supposed to be an aurora. <laughs> There's gonna be the aurora watchers out there tonight. Well, actually it's, it's Monday and tomorrow is a bank holiday. So I expect there's a lot of people with cameras gonna be staying up very late tonight. This is amazing. Oh, just how lucky am I? <laughs> I wasn't even going to come up here. It was just a little spur of the moment. I thought, oh, there's going to be an aurora. I saw it on the alerts on the, on the website. Looked on the map. Never been here before. And it couldn't be any better. Even if the aurora doesn't turn up. I don't give a stuff. Look at this. Well, not me, but yeah, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? So, that little speck in the sky, that's the moon. I don't think we're going to get it any... No, it wants to focus on it, but can't quite do it. So, um, pretty bloody magic up anyway. An amazing scene. The light's just fantastic. I think I'll have to take another set. This is just glowing now. It's amazing. Well, uh, I think I've shot my foreground, and by that I mean that uh, to get to Milky Way and the Aurora and everything I want, um, and to make it look like uh, enough light in the in the hills and the landscape to um, 
give enough detail and make it a bit dramatic. I need to um, shoot while there's still a, a bit of light and then um, blend, in, blend in the Milky Way afterwards. So uh, I can't move the tripod, can't move the camera as little as possible. There's a few wonderful shots to take um, as the sun goes down or light changes. Uh, in fact, I've got a crescent of the moon I'll show you in a minute and that's going to be rather epic as it goes down um, let's see it's going to go down over those mountains that have actually got snow on um, so once that bright of the sun goes down and there's dark sky that crescent moon should uh, pretty pretty epic over those mountains actually I might do a bit of a zoom in for that one that might be worth changing the settings and hopefully get them back but um maybe the aurora is coming up it must be it must be gone six o'clock now let's have a look yep it's it's gone six so um it's aurora time but it's nowhere near dark now <laughs> and that's the sun going down behind me it won't be that epic there we are here's our moon there's the mountains going to come down over, so hopefully another hour or so, we'll be right over the top. Magic! So, I don't know what time it is. It's gone, well it's really gone midnight and uh, I've done my epic panorama but he was supposed to be a Milky Way. I was hoping for a Aurora and I got it so uh, it was amazing I've tried to get a bit on video but uh, it's not coming out too flash I'm just going to try and ask a couple of shots and then uh, I'm probably going to call it a quits for the night and uh, it's not going to get much better than that so uh, yeah learned a lot this last 12 months and uh, I didn't know if I was ever going to use it but um, I think it's going to pay off. So I've got about oh, 80 shots to make up one photo. Uh, so that's going to be quite a bit of work to do. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. It's like um, a lot of a lot of hard work this year. Um, and I think I've got the skills now to actually do something with the images I've, I've captured. Because they certainly look hell of a lot better than they did uh, 12 months ago when I was pointing the camera at the stars and um, couldn't even get them in focus, couldn't even see them. So next few days we'll tell. So uh, hope you enjoy watching this. Um, Nigel Danson, yep I've watched plenty of your YouTube videos on how to edit um, photos and uh, yeah you've helped me a lot. So you and a few others, I'll um, can't remember the names off the top of my head, no faces, but uh, just watching how you guys do it and um, trying with my own less than um, epic shots, and I think uh, I think I've come a long way. So thank you for all you YouTube presenters who uh, do a good job. Thanks for all the freebies. I've just checked my watch. I thought it had gone midnight. It's only 10 to 9. And I don't need to camp out because I don't think I can get anything better than that. So uh, I'm just packing up. I'm heading back to the van. <laughs> it's just been amazing.